Hey, what happened? We are dressed. She's a little girl. We're getting fed, and today we are going car shopping. Is <laughs> just smiling. Yeah, that's our Labor Day. So I went to go check out a car this morning. It was a BMW 3 Series. It was really nice. It, the interior and exterior was great. He's already done a lot of work on it, which is good. Um, I'm signaling right now, so I'm not going to be talking to the camera. Okay, now I am. So that was it, and we feel really, I feel a lot better about that than like the Nissans that I've been wanting. Yeah, we're like in a big predicament. Like, he wants his Nissan because it's been his dream car since he was like two. Ten. Ten. But still, same diff. Anyways, yeah, ahead. Your phone is like so laggy. Okay. Come on, phone. Sorry, I'm GPSing. Yeah, go west. Gypsy. Gypsin. Speaking gypsy. Anyways, and so we're like, okay, he can get his Nissan, but winter's coming up. Yeah, people drive in winter, but if he crashed or if someone hits his car, something happens to it. We're back down to one car, and then he has to take my car, but if I have an emergency with Bobby or something, I don't have a car to take. And so we're like, okay, well, what if we did, and then we're thinking, okay, what if we did more of a nicer, luxurious, like, four-door car so that we could have four doors and put like a car seat base in his car and things like that so and the reason behind that stupid. is because like my car is a beater and it is like it just looks terrible front and inside and so yes I have had it a long time I've put a lot of miles into it but I need something that gives off good impressions for like clients for students or whatever simply because make it, I mean first impressions that's a huge that's a big deal yeah and his car is a legit beater, so, and it's so beater, it's really dark, that it's done. Like, and so, and also done. too, like, the Beamer is really cool because it's all-wheel drive, which is awesome for the snow. Yeah. And it's also cool because it's 50-50. So, so all of the power is being spread across all of the tires evenly when you're doing all-wheel drive. Which is really awesome. Which is good. So yeah, we just really don't know what car to get. And like, with my car that we're driving now, like, it was just a steal of a deal. Like, it was an older gentleman, he, um, yeah, we were, we were the third owners, low miles on this car, like, it, this car was just like, boom, a no-brainer, like, if we didn't do it, we were going to feel really guilty that oh, we yeah. didn't buy this well, car. Oh yeah, well, of course, we know, we know Hyundai, so we knew it was a steal of a deal. Oh yeah. And we paid this thing off in like seven months, we still have it, it's still, it's such a champ, 135,000 miles on it. The only thing we gotta replace is radiator. my radiator. Yeah, we gotta replace with my radiator. It's leaking. Anyways, but yeah, like this car was awesome. So we just haven't found that oomph, like that. This is the car we that we had. The, with oh my gosh, I gotta buy it now. Car. Yeah. And so we're just like, uh, but we need to get him a car because he can't take this one for like much longer. Like, yeah, he can. I guess we could just borrow someone else's car if I need to go somewhere. But it's just like, oh boy, like. We need another car. So now we just don't know what car to get. So, yay for car shopping. Uh, how'd you feel about that car? It was okay. It was a it 2007 was... Dodge Magnum. It was okay. The guys were Hispanic, so they didn't understand me. I didn't understand them. It had two. When I was, whenever I was like slowing down or taking a corner, it had a sound to it, and which is weird. And then it also sounded like my older car with the uh with the struts they would like bounce um basically for like the shocks or whatever so you it definitely was okay. wasn't impressed as he was with the first I car i was not as tested. impressed as i was with the bmw yeah. obviously but you know it's it, he, they said that they would go for 3800 so 3800 for a dodge magnum compared to a you know 7500 for uh, BMW 3 Series. So, but would it be worth to buy? Like, okay, so say we did do the BMW with less problems, all we had to replace is the windshield, the blinker light. Yeah. 
okay, we get the Dodge Magnum. We have to replace whatever the noises that would have been equaling the amount that we should have got the BMW for. Well, plus we don't even know what the problems are because I can't understand English or Spanish. They don't understand English. And so I would have to go and take the car to the shop, have them check it out, give me a status of what's going on with it. Who knows how much that would cost. Yeah. So am I really serious that enough to go and buy this car enough to take it into the shop, have them check it out? so that I can understand what's going on with the car. <laughs> so anyway, so we're round on two, to round three. Round three to our next car. out right there. He really likes it. <laughs> the only two things though are air, air conditioning which might need to be charged and then second was first gear. First gear has something going on. It's a, it's a whir, it's a sound. Oh really? So, but everything else is fine. Um, the top has like some kind of black spray on it so once it peels off you just spray it again. Same thing with the tires. <laughs> uh, he said he said that it's, it's going for 75 now. But there's a there's a dock there's a system that he has for the radio really nice really clean it's a touch screen and everything nice they said that they would drop it down to seven thousand um, they drop it down to seven thousand they put in this stock one and it didn't be seven thousand bucks but he was also open to offers so that's good um, you know obviously with everything going on so that was that was a good one I'm more impressed with that one than any of the others, cool. which is good. That was nice. So, so Yay. we'll go test the one in Orem. Yep, now we're on our way from Syracuse all the way down to Orem. So here we go. Eliza? I don't know if you, I don't know like what her channel is. Liza something. Liza something. She was doing um 
parody parodies, right? Is that what they're called? Food parodies? No, food. Uh, not a parody. No, um, puns. Puns. She was making she was doing food, food puns, puns at the dollar store. And we were busting up laughing. Like, we, our cheeks were hurting from how hard we were laughing at her video. Like, it is the funniest thing ever. We should have all put... Well, and she was talking like... She, she was talking so like... She it. was talking like a... Like an old grandma or something. Yeah. And so I she was talking like this and like slurring her words. And then she would like... I don't know. Pull up a piece of... <laughs> yeah. <laughs> she would pull up a food that had a word. It was named something. And there was a food called like... U, U ban Y-U-B-A-N. Anyway, she would go and tell this story in like an old grandma accent voice. She came home and she'd be from like, the store. home from the store. Like, Where you been? Where you been? Anyway, go watch it out. <laughs> go check it out. I'll put the link in our description and probably pop it up because it is so funny. We were just busting up and it could have been because it was super late, but it was so funny. So check it out. Okay, round two. So this one um, was the third 350Z that we've seen. They're, um... They were listing it for six nine and six nine nine. Uh, I'm to look at the other one for seven fifty. Seven five. Huh? How much? Is... Seven thousand for the other one. If I took out the speakers, the last one we just saw in Syracuse. Mm -hmm. so, um, and it's nicer. It's nicer, but then there's some things we gotta fix. So oh like the clutch yeah. And Anyway, so this one had great AC. It was 6.9. I talked him down to 65. That's the lowest it'll go. It had a check engine or a service service engine soon light. So I got to ask about that. And it was nice. It was responsive. It was quick. It looked like it was well taken care of. She said that there's there hasn't been any issues with it. Um, it's she's been like the second owner. That's not bad. She's had it for seven years. So one or two owners owners. That's not bad. Um, Why is she selling it? Just, oh, so they're selling it because they got a nicer Mercedes. So it was like, why? Oh. So they got that nicer Mercedes in the in the lot that they had. So yeah, just um, I've got another Z that I'm checking checking out tomorrow. That one's for five thousand. So it'll be interesting to see oh, interesting. what's going on with that and the problems that it has if it does, because it it's white. It's you know whatever. So we've seen a lot of cool cars. We're getting closer to having to make a decision we're getting tired and we're getting tired a lot of driving today lots of driving <laughs> but it's good because we've crushed out a lot of stuff today which is good yeah thank you holiday thank yeah. you Labor Day. so yeah we'll do that i've got another call later with a friend and then we gotta clean and out and his we're gonna mom's go clean out my mom's shed because we have a bunch of stuff that we need to get yeah rid of. we have stuff still in there so yay second di trip woo woo <laughs> What a day of labor. It really was, though. We went and saw four cars, gathered our stuff from the shed. We did take a nap. We did. That was, was really wondrous. Needed. Really needed. Anyways, now we're just going to go home and hang. We're going to go home and chill. Because we're kind of, like, pooped out. Pooped. We're pooped out, and he doesn't want to go to work tomorrow. But he's a champ. But, like I said, he only has to work four days now, instead of five. So that's going to be nice. But yeah, so anyways, I hope you guys had an awesome weekend. We're going to go hang out. Make, and sh make sure you hit that subscribe button. Pound that subscribe button. Pound it! Pound that like <laughs> button, and make sure you subscribe. Oh, we'll catch you later. Said that twice. Okay, peace. Oh, yeah. <laughs>